Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to learn how to diagonalize a matrix. It's called diagonalization. And we're going to do this in two parts because there's a lot of work involved in doing so. But starting with a two by two matrix called A, here we have the elements. We're trying to find the diagonalized matrix. And the definition of the diagonalized matrix of A is that it's simply the eigenvalues along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. You may say, well, why would we want to do that? Well, it turns out that you can also find the diagonalization of the matrix by taking the matrix here, multiplying it times the P matrix and the inverse P matrix. Hmm. The P matrix is defined as the matrix that's made up of the eigenvectors corresponding to the two eigenvalues. So there's a nice relationship there. And then later on, we'll also will find out how we can use the diagonalized matrix to find the power of a matrix, like a squared, a cubed, or a to the hundred power. Imagine trying to find a to the hundred power using a calculator when there's an easier method to do that, but we need to know how to diagonalize the matrix first. So let's start with that principle first, and then we'll see how we can find the eigenvalues. In other words, find the diagonalized matrix using this principle here, and then we'll learn how to find the power of a matrix, again, using the diagonalization method. So first, we need to find the diagonalized, the, the diagonalized, whew, that's a hard word to say, isn't it? Diagonalized matrix of A by finding the eigenvalues. Now, we know how to find the eigenvalues in the old-fashioned way, so let's do that for some practice. We're going to turn this into determinant and subtract the eigenvalues from the diagonal here. So minus 5 minus lambda, 8, minus 4, 7 minus lambda. And we're going to set that equal to 0. That's the method to find the eigenvalues. We cross multiply these and minus the product of those. Minus times a minus, that becomes a plus. 4 times 8, or I can simply show you what it looks like. So it's minus a minus 4 times 8, and we set that equal to 0. Now we have to solve this for lambda, because this is a quadratic equation. Lambda squared plus 5 minus 7, that's minus 2 lambda, and a minus 35, and plus a 32 is equal to 0. This is lambda squared minus 2 lambda minus 3 equals 0. Okay, and factoring this, we get lambda minus 3, lambda plus 1 equals 0. And that means that we have two eigenvalues. We can say that lambda sub 1 equals minus 1 and lambda sub 2 equals 3. Those are our two eigenvalues. That means that our diagonalized matrix will look as follows. D is equal to, we have minus 1 and 3 along the diagonal, and 0, 0 everywhere else. And you may wonder, well, would it matter if I put the 3 up there and the minus 1 down here? And that would make no difference at all. So what we're going to continue doing now is because we're also going to later want to find out the diagonalized matrix using this methodology here, we're going to need to find our eigenvectors corresponding to those two eigenvalues. So starting with, let's say, lambda 1 equals negative 1. To find the eigenvector, we're going to subtract the negative 1 from the diagonalized the diagonal elements. Minus 5 minus a minus 1, which is plus 1. 8 minus 4, 7 minus a minus 1, which is 7 plus 1. Multiply times x and y, and we get the zero matrix. That will allow us to find the first eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue. This will look as follows. Minus 4, 8, minus 4, 8, x, y, equal 0, 0. Now we place that into the augmented matrix. Minus 4, minus eight, 4 8, and zero. and 0. And of course, it's quite obvious at this point that these are duplicates. So we can get rid of one of them, divide the top one by a, by a 4. And this can then be written as a minus 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's a 0. Which means that minus x plus 2y equals 0 
or x equals 2y, which means when y is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, and the eigenvector v1 corresponding to this eigenvalue is equal to 2 and 1. Let's do this again with the second eigenvalue, lambda sub 2 equals 3, which means we take minus 5 minus 3 and 8, negative 4, 7 minus 3, multiply it times the eigenvector xy, and we should get the zero vector, 0, 0, which means that minus 8 and 8, minus 4 and 4, times xy gives us the zero vector and again it becomes quite obvious that we end up with duplicate rows which means that we end up with minus 8 and 8 minus if we draw the 4, four 0 we get rid of one of the rows and divide the top row by 8 we get negative 1 1 0 0 0 0 which means that minus x plus y equals 0 or x equals y, which gives us the second eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue of 1 and 1. So now we see that to find the diagonalized matrix, one way to do that is to go ahead and find the eigenvalues, plug the eigenvalues in the diagonal here, 0, 0, 4, else, that gives us the diagonalized matrix. And for the next part, on the next video, we already found the two eigenvectors, which we'll be able to plug into this matrix right here and then allows us to find the diagonalized matrix in this fashion as well. So stay tuned on part two and we'll show you how to do it in that next method. And that's how it's done.